In this video, we are going to discuss HPLC, or high pressure liquid chromatography, in order to separate out different proteins and be able to have a pure substance to work with. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and filter sterilize all of our buffers. This is important because we don't want any filaments or any pieces of material to come through and destroy our column. So it needs to be as clean as possible. Rinse the pumps with 25% isopropanol, and that helps to remove any of the bubbles that we have on the lines. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and turn on all the pumps and do them from the bottom up. And then we can go ahead and launch the program on the computer. Make sure that you then remove the pump heads from the 20% ethanol solution and rinse well with water and dry blot with a chem wipe. You can then place the pump heads in the correct solutions and cover with the solvent containers and tin foil. So the B solution should contain 100% acetonitrile. Next, you're gonna loosen the black column bypass knob by rotating it 360 degrees clockwise. Make sure that the device is ready by clicking the on button next to the blue eye that is on the screen. You can go ahead and load your method from file, load, and then method. The flow may increase significantly at this point. So right click anywhere in the pump window and select direct control. So bring the flow up to 80% B, which is acetonitrile again, at four mils per minute over a 0.5 minute time frame, and click send values, which will send the values to the pump. Then go ahead and let the pump run for one to two minutes at four mils per minute before you bring it back down to zero mils per minute. In order to direct flow over the column, you tighten the black knob bypass back and then go ahead and switch the injection loop to the load position. At this point, you should check your method and make sure that it is what you want loaded for whatever you're going to be purifying on the system. So then we're gonna go ahead and pre-equilibrate the column over a five to 10 minute period. At this point, you're gonna bring the flow rate and the percent acetonitrile that you have in your first step of your method up to that point. Next, you're gonna go ahead and rinse the injection syringe with water and then with buffer A. With the injection loop in the load position, inject several loop volumes of A with a clean syringe. After the column is done equilibrating, you can go ahead and click single sample. Wait for the software to stay ready for injection. To start a run, load the injection syringe with your sample. Make sure that you remove any of the bubbles that might be in the syringe. Inject into the loop, remove the syringe, and switch the injection valve to the inject position. That should start the run. Make sure that you switch the injection valve back to the load position after a few minutes to prevent any bubbles from entering the system. And now we're gonna let the run continue and what we're looking for is a 280 peak that represents the protein that we're looking for. So once you get that, you can go ahead and move the output valve to a tube so that you can collect that sample and allow the run to finish out. Once the run is done, we can go ahead and look at the analysis tab to get our different peak values and we can print that off so that we can use that for a later reference. After the run is complete, we're gonna go ahead and ramp down the system in the reverse of what we did before. And then go ahead and press the off button to turn off all of the pumps. And then flip the switches on all the pumps too so that we power them down. Last, we gotta make sure that we clean out our syringe, so wash it out with water and store it from there. And that's how you run an HPLC.